Solo female, RV camping in your 60s? Some might call this intimidating, others might call it brave, and some might even call it crazy. But by now, you've seen me hit the road alone plenty of times. You've watched as I've gone on all those solo camping adventures, laughing, exploring, and making the most out of every moment. I know, it all looks like fun, and it is. But today, I want to share something with you. There's a side of solo camping I haven't told you about yet. There's a side that I've been keeping a bit of a secret. The truth is, it gets lonely. I always prefer camping with my hubby whenever we can, but I still feel that pull to be out there when he can't join me. But here's the thing, when he's not here with me, it feels different. When I first started solo camping, I was overwhelmed with things like backing up and setting up and tearing down the campsite all by myself. But over the past few years, I've gotten pretty comfortable doing this all by myself. There's an amazing sense of accomplishment that comes with being able to handle everything on your own. But as much as I've embraced this independence, there's a quiet side to solo camping that's hard to explain until you've done it. Being out here surrounded by all this beauty, just me and my dog Thor, it's beautiful and it's peaceful. It's why I keep coming back. And it's also when I feel the most alone. I've shown you the fun, the freedom, and the joys of solo camping, but I haven't talked about what happens during these quiet moments when the sun sets, the campfire dies, and the whole world feels a little too still. Early the next morning, I strolled along the road, taking in the beauty of Lake Superior, and there wasn't another soul around. I ended up wandering into Herbster, a little rural town less than a mile from my campsite. It was so quiet, charming, and quaint. It was the kind of place that makes you feel like you've gone back in time. But as I wandered around, I found myself wishing I had someone to point out the things that I was noticing. That's one of the hardest parts of solo camping. It's not the logistics or the solitude. It's just not having someone right there to share that experience with you. When you're alone, these experiences belong only to you. And while yes, there is a certain strength in that, there's also a bit of loneliness. But there's another thing I've also discovered. Loneliness doesn't mean unhappiness. Yes, solo RV camping can be lonely. Yes, I miss the companionship, but it's also helped me grow in ways that I just never expected. And now I've learned to embrace the quiet, to find strength in the stillness, and to appreciate the time I get to spend by myself. So next time you see me out there solo camping, having fun, just know there's more to the story. It's not all campfires and sunsets. There's a quieter side to this journey. Aside, I'm learning to embrace one campsite at a time.